here at Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class today. Today we're going to be doing some more multiplication word problems. We call this word problem practice. Um, let's go ahead and get right into opening up with our devotion and we'll get into our lesson right after. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's also recite our morality creed. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe that the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Great work. Thank you for reciting the morality creed with me. It's a commitment and a statement of faith. I applaud you for that. Let's go ahead and um, work through some work problem practice. If you turn to the 22nd week and the second day, you'll find some work problems. We're just going to uh, together work on about three of those. And then I'll let you uh, complete the final set of word problems on your own. And so that's what we'll do. The very first question says, Fred walks two miles to the library plus another two miles home each day. He visits the library four times a week. How far does he walk each week? Wow, so he goes to the library, which is two miles. And then he returns and goes home for another two miles. But he does that four times a week. So how many miles is he, is he traveling? That's a good question. Well, let's start by um, recognizing or at least acknowledging how many total miles he walks a day or walks each time he goes to the library. It says he walks two miles to and two miles from. So each time he goes to the library, how many total miles are he walking? Well, that's two plus two. Two miles, two, two miles back. Two plus two is four. So each time he goes to the library, he's gonna walk two miles there, two miles back. That's a total of four miles. So we've got that. Our next question is, um, he visits the library four times a week. So how many miles is he walking? Well, now that we know he walks four miles each time he goes, we need to multiply this by the number of times he goes. How many times does he go? He goes four times a week. Does that look about right? Yeah. The four times a week that he goes to the library, he's going to walk four miles. So how many total miles does he walk each week since we know he does it four times a week? Well, four times four. Count by fours until you get to the fourth finger. Four, eight, 12, 16. What's four times four? 16. He walks how many miles each week? 16 miles per week. That's a lot of good exercise. So just in review, two miles there, two miles from. How many total miles does he walk in that particular instance? He walks a total of four miles in that day. But what if he did that four times a week? Well, you take those four miles and you multiply it over four times. Four times four is 16. He walks 16 miles each week to get to the library. Okay, question two. There are five bunches of bananas. Do you like bananas? I do too. I presently have one bunch in my house. 
but that bunch has been eaten. So there's only, it's actually just one banana. It's gone from being a bunch to a single banana. <laughs> so there are five bunches of bananas. Each bunch has eight bananas. How many total, um, how many total bananas are there? So if we have five bunches, and each of those groups or each of those bunches of bananas have eight bananas attached. How many total bananas? Well, that's that's pretty straightforward. We have five bunches, eight bananas on each bunch. It's just as simple as that, isn't it? Yeah, five times eight. So what is five times eight? What are you going to do? You're going to count by fives until you get to eight, or are you going to say, Miss Nita, I've memorized five times eight is 40. I'm going to say, good job. If you haven't memorized, it's okay. Go ahead and put up eight fingers. And you can count by fives until you reach your eighth finger. Are you ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So how many total bananas are in all these bunches? 40, 40 total bananas. Banana. <laughs> okay. So there are 40 total bananas. Let's look at the third question for a little final question for today. Okay, so this word problem says there are nine two gallon jugs of milk. There are six two gallon jugs of water. How many total gallons of drinks are there? So there are nine two gallon jugs. So we have nine two gallons. plus six two gallons. How many total? So uh, first thing you wanna recognize that these are two groups, two different groups. The first group is this nine. The second group is this six, okay? The nine, you have to multiply the nine by two because for each jug, there are two gallons, okay? Do you ever drink gallon milk? If you go to the refrigerator, there's a, there's a two gallon, we call that two gallons, or actually perhaps it's just one gallon, but in this situation, some jugs get really, really big to where they're two gallons. And if it's a two gallon jug, and if you wanna find out, hey, I have nine of these jugs of beverage or jugs of milk, you wanna find out how many total gallons. <clears throat> so in this instance, you wanna multiply this two by nine and get your answer, and then you can solve for um, for the total sum. So here we have nine times two. Do you know what nine times two is? If you don't, just starting with two, multiply um, until you get to nine. Skip count until you get to nine. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 gallons. This is a total of 18 gallons. Six times two, because we have another set of uh, Beverages, these beverages are water, and there are six of these large jugs as well. They're each two gallons, so we need to keep consider that as well. So we have six, um, six jugs. We're gonna count by twos. Once we get to the six finger, we'll know how many gallons are there. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. There are 12 gallons of water. So there are 18 gallons of milk, 12 gallons of water. But now we want to find out, well, how much, how many total beverages do we have? Water, milk, how much, what is the total? Well, we're going to add these. We have eight plus two. Eight plus two is 10. So you're going to you, you put your zero here, add your one to the top there, as we've learned previously. And then you're just going to add all of your tens. That's one two, three. There are 30 total gallons of drinks. Okay. So that's how we, that's how we'll calculate that. I hope this lesson has made sense. If not, feel free to just review the lesson again from start to finish. That's okay. Um, the more you listen to it and the, you know, the more confident you get, you'll get 
and become one. It's time for you to work out your own work problems. Thank you so much for coming to class and for being a part of today's lesson. Until tomorrow, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be